This is one of my favorite roads near my house. I used to ride this two times a day, five days a week, to and from work. There's one section of the road, and it was my favorite part, that has a nice S-turn. Riding back to my house, there's a turn to the left and a somewhat blind turn back to the right. The road then goes down a long hill to a highway and a short ride to the house. There's never much traffic on this road and it gets me off the congested highways for a change. If there was ever a road I could become complacent on, it would be Roanoke Road because I've ridden it so much. Well, one day, after a normal day at work, on a normal ride home, something changed. So here's that section of road we were just riding on. And I bet I've ridden this section of road a thousand times to and from work. Aside from the occasional gravel in one of those corners, I had never had an incident on this road. Until the one day I went to make that right hand turn, and a Cadillac Escalade decided that was the perfect spot to make a U-turn. So I'm rounding this corner to the right. I've got my head and eyes turned through that corner. And as soon as that view opened up, this was what I was looking at. The passenger door of the Cadillac Escalade. There wasn't time to mentally assess the situation. In fact, the only thing I really remember as the forks were compressing, I was thinking to myself, how am I going to get stopped in time? I ended up getting the bike stopped about two feet probably from the uh, rear passenger door of the Escalade. So I'm rounding that corner, I see the Escalade. The first thing I did was I straightened the motorcycle up. I squeezed in the clutch, I downshifted to first gear, and I started squeezing on that front brake as I was applying the rear brake. If you've taken a basic rider course, you may remember that as one of the exercises you did. Stopping quickly in a curve. As an instructor, I get to practice that all the time because I'm teaching the class. But not only do I practice it in class, I practice it on my own time in different scenarios on parking lots. So I was able to get that motorcycle to a stop in the road purely on instinct. Like I said, I didn't even think about it. And that instinct is not because I'm a fantastic rider. It's because I've trained uh, and I've practiced that exact scenario. And when it came up in real life, I was prepared to handle it. If nothing else, that incident taught me the value of training. I'd guess that 90% of the people watching this video have never taken anything beyond a basic riding course. The basic riding course is a good start to learn the basics. But there's a problem with never training beyond the basics and never maintaining the skills that you learn in a basic class. Learning a life-saving skill on a motorcycle is not something you learn once and carry with you the rest of your life. If you do not practice, if you do not grow your skills, you lose them. A typical rider gets their license and they start on the journey to becoming a motorcyclist. They ride their motorcycle from point A to point B and they get there without incident. The next day they ride from point A to point B again without problem. Day after day they ride their motorcycle from one destination to the next over a three year period. Starting, stopping, shifting through the gears, going around corners, and they think they've become an experienced rider. They think they have three years of riding experience, but in reality they have one year of experience and they've repeated it three times because they've never progressed beyond the basics. One day, somewhere between point A and point B, the unexpected happens and a rider is seriously hurt or worse because they did not have the skills to deal with it. No one is born with good riding skills. It has to be developed and it can only be developed through practice and repetition. I am living proof that training works. Start to improve your skills today by subscribing to this channel on YouTube. Sign up for our email newsletter at mcrider.com. Follow us on Facebook and share our content to help another writer out. Make sure and subscribe because in next week's episode, 
I'm going to give you two techniques for stopping a motorcycle quickly in a curve. Hopefully you'll never need these skills, but if you ever run into a situation like I did, you'll be glad that you practiced and prepared before it was too late.